Hello, adventurers. I'm your host, Connor Necromancer. Welcome back to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. Previously on, we went to a really anticlimactic cave and found a well that we couldn't do anything with. And now we're in Wan V's Tower, if that's how you say his name, in hopes of finding. Oh, God. Another golem. Finding the book of something something. Tome of Fire. Tome of something. That one. Who knows? But we're gonna find it. And presumably kill Wan V. Because, uh. Oh, hi, Wan. When Eve. Oh, no. When Eve. It's something. Some weird fantasy name. Mod Ooh. We knew. Why'd you open that door? If you've been watching my videos for a while, you, uh. You know I have a very. Frustrating history with those golems. Of course, this house is completely trapped. Okay, Lena, do not. That was a little too much, but that's okay. All right, let's explore this door. All right, dear. I'm getting or not. That's another exit. Yep. Hmm. Oh, I think we found the tome. Ow. Tome of Ice. That's the one we were looking for. Now we're into it. Actually, let's give it a quick read. This hefty tone, oh man, adapt, attempts to complete the history of the Neverwinter Wood, but the crux of what is known is summed up in the following passage. While many a tale have suggested that there are dark forces that call the wood their home, yet there is no definitive answer as to what truly lies within. Many a glade of has a guardian force watching over it, but never so unsimilevolent as supposedly is in residence there. These woods have never been logged by men, for they are feared and shunned by locals, and even orc hordes alter their cores around and never through, though usually after, often only after suffering a good number of stubborn casualties. If maybe if we read that beforehand, we might not have uh, been so gung ho to go there. Whoopsie. Ooh. Not nice. I look forward to the moment when she learns full restoration. That would be very nice. Could have probably avoided the guard, actually. Oh well. He's dead now. He's a flesh golem. He deserved it. Probably. 100%. <clears throat> Ooh, what's this room? Very nice. Trap. Right, so locked. To it. One thing I won't miss about the Neverwinter Wood, however, is that there were no traps. I mean, chests, really. Is this all out in the open? Ooh. I'm kind of excited by this. Let's use the potion of Laura very quickly and identify. Ah. There are boots that look exactly like that. That are boots of haste, actually, which are, as you can imagine, very, 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 very helpful. Hmm. These are all really vague. They're all exits, but are, which ones are the right ones? Let's try the door over here. A gong. That's probably the alarm. Whoops. Did he have a different bio? Probably not. No. Oh, Lino, you should have finished that. I don't trust glowy doors, so. Okay, that's confusing. Uh, probably I'll come on. Get around the corner. All right, dear. I'm getting to it. Let's try. And... Oh, that one's already open for us. How kind. All right, dear. All right, another lock one. Okay. Trap. 
Yep. Oh, excuse my elven. All right, I'm gonna break these all and then I'll come back. Great, Lino, from <laughs> in a completely different room. I'm glad to hear you're all done. So the other one just had nine gold and a gem. I picked it up out of impulse. Oops. What else is new? Hey there, oh, oh crap. Ugh. Ugh. This door is just not going our way today. Linu is stuck in the corner. Well, I guess we're fighting. <laughs> Um, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Okay. Well, I can survive it if I'm full health, so we knew. I said, oh, okay, well. Okay, round two, go. Okay. They're always locked and trapped. A portal in the center of the room isn't ominous at all. Ooh, okay, that was not worth what it was to get it. Jeez, I just need some alive. I'm gonna rest. Yeah. We gotta give it a few centuries and then we can we can rest. We know if I've told you once, I've told you a hundred times. Do not eat the weird meat left out for you. It's not for you, Linu. It's for someone else who he actually cares about. It's something you're not familiar with. Whoa. Oh, we found a wizard. How in the names of gods did you get in here? Prepare to be Okay, he, he's only doing it. When if when Eve. One of them is close, and one of them is completely false. Ooh, that's, yeah. That was color spray, in case you were wondering what it was. Or rainbow spray. It's one of the two. Ow! That's great, being... Ooh, that's an insta-kill. If it hits. Oh, that is not good. Oh, what the heck? He can summon a pretty bad creature with that spell. Poor Lino is just getting spammed. I just want to teleport away. Let me teleport away. Let me teleport away. Let me. Come on now, me, me. Whoa! I knew rainbow arm would come in handy. That's how I resisted all those stupid attacks. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyone who was gonna comment that rainbow armor sucked, well, you've just been proven wrong. So no one ever comments on my videos. So I look crazy either way. What? Do I just have a head? Uh, okay, hand. <laughs> Leaves a corpse's head right by the Temple of Tear. Here, I know your god loves justice. Why don't you just have a head? All right, let's uh, let's deal with this sorcerer now that I'm not going to be confused utterly, and have a bit of resistance against everything he's cast. Ooh, his armor's gone. Or it was if he didn't have two of them on. Please attack no more. I am defeated. Perhaps you better answer my question before I finish what I started. I should like to counter that question with a question of my own. Why are you in my home? <laughs> Who are you exactly? I am Wanvi. <laughs> Wenev. A man well versed in the magical arts and of no smell or renown. I am somewhat displeased at being defeated by you. My idiot friends must have. Many a jest at my expense. I have no further questions. I appreciate not being killed. Take this ward stone and my servant shall leave you be. Well, I killed them all. That's not very helpful. I'm gonna loot you now. 
you know what? Yeah, I don't need you. I should have killed you. But I'm not 100% evil. Yet. Ooh, we got a lot of experience, though. I don't really want to kill him, though. Unless he dropped the key. Ooh, he did. Does it open this? Probably not. Nah. Okay, we're gonna still go with that we killed him. <laughs> I didn't get it punished at all for it, so. Summoning chambers aren't. Okay, this is not very good. Hmm. Good sorcerers really shouldn't have something like this. Who knows if he was good or bad, actually, at this point. I'm I'm kind of torn between the two. Because, I mean... Crips aren't usually the sign of a good sorcerer. Neither are little devils and demons. But just murdering? Really, you're gonna you're gonna trap a crate. Paranoid much, but uh, considering what I just did to him, I guess he had every right to be a little paranoid. Well, let's read a ghost story. Why not? The haunted grove and the chief landmark in Con. Conneberry area, the ghost of Neverwinterwood is actually a banshee known as Agatha. This name is almost certainly a corruption of the elven surname Agatha Hava, which means winter breeze. In one of the older elven dialect, dialects, she lairs, she lairs in the grove in the Neverwinterwood northwest of Con Conneberry. Her haunt is at the end of the path, whose entrance is marked by a strand of branch fir trees. At one time, Agatha's lair was guarded by a magical mirror spell that was set up to hide her real location and give her time to hurl spells at intruders. The heroes Desert de Orundin and Wolfgar, son of... Oh my god. Borgar, scattered those these defenses. The two adventurers then stole her treasures. The Banshee had amassed um, uh, her treasure hoard by thieving in the night, slaying travelers, and pillaging old tombs and ruins. Since her wealth was stolen, she had taken to looting the... Desaren again trying to rebuild her riches. She also seeks revenge for theft, so considers any adventurous fitting recipients of death. Agatha's lair has new defenses now. Her spell enabled her to charm people of Conbury into digging pit bull traps along her path to her lair. These servants have also been guarding her haunt. Other than this, Agatha does not bother the folk of Conbury. Uh, rather, she views them as allies. Agatha often uses her spells to bring them beasts for food in the worst winter weather. She also slaughters orcs and brigands Brigards who venture too far near the village. Folk in Conneberry regard Agatha as most affect affectionately as their guardian and friend. They often talk about her and speculate on what she's up to. Okay. Okay. The Imp's Prison. Another book. The popular legends tell of a sylvian creature luring men within trees. There exists an entire kingdom known as fairy realms. A less popular tale... Legend tells of a similar mischievous group of imps. According to the tale, this, these imps lure people into their realm by taunting them with something they desire, such as wealth or pleasure. Once the person falls entranced by the whispering of imps, he finds himself within a twisted abyss, bereft of hope or possibility of escape. Amazing. Lovely. Uh, 10 out of 10. Topaz. Turn of the Beast. 
At first glance, this ragged tome appears to detail the ancient history of the Sword Coast. Closer inspection reveals the words Return of the Bees scrawled across the original title in almost childlike hand. Whole sections of the book are crossed out and replaced by an indecipherable code, and weird sketches fill the margins. At one point, the unnamed author breaks second author breaks into a near coherence, although the entity the entry is obscured by some sort of fluid or slime, a slow change. After ages of waiting, the beast that ruled the rand land returns to take back their world from the upstarts. The beast will slave, make slaves of the five crowns and put the whole races in lash. The elves, the dwarves, and the kingdoms of men will fall once more. Or as one. Probably hint as to what will happen later. Spoilers. dead. Ooh, hellhounds over there. Ooh. Could you imagine if they were both trapped? You're gonna heal me again. Ooh! Um. Nice, don't use shield, but uh, it's always nice to have. You know, okay, Lenu, guess she didn't like that idea anymore. A lot of hellhounds, jeez. Oh, cowardly but cunning, these small demonic humanoids are often bound to the world's sorcerers and wizards who may to do their bidding. Goo gosh. Rank overpowering, really? Okay, so I can't walk, okay? Gonna throw in a quick save before we loot <laughs> graves because, you know. More rainbow armor. This game's really trying to push it. Is it. Do they make it for this game? Oh, well, I'm glad to see the most ominous looking sarcophagus was trapped by something lame. Well, we're just gonna leave that wizard dead. You might as well. I mean, he doesn't seem to add anything. He might have been well renowned, but uh, whatever. You know, I'm gonna be more renowned than he will be by the end of this game. Thank you for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful time. I all hope you also have a wonderful day. Farewell for now. Good luck on your adventures.